Thank you, David and Lauren. Well, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Paul Samuels. I'm a member of the Hen Harrier Action Team. And with me is Andrea Goddard, also a member of that same action team, but is also a professional environmental scientist. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, so it all started last year, the last Hen Harrier Day online that we did last year. Um, I had the idea of maybe hopefully getting a, a nest camera into a nest of Hen Harriers um, and being able to broadcast that live um, online um, for, for this year's Hen Harrier Day, um, which was which ended up being partially successful, but I'll go on to that. Um, so yeah, that, that was the idea. Uh, I then, during the winter, researched lots of cameras, setups, and um, equipment and things that I would need and the, the legislation that I would have to adhere to. Um, we researched many different cameras, but ended up looking at a system that relied on 4G because hen harrier nests are very remote and far away from civilization normally, um, but often are up on hillsides that have good 4G coverage. So I plumped for a 4G system that has a solar panel built in or separate, but you can link them together. Um, so and they're very small. They they go in the nest, and then so we had that delivered, and that show you the camera just now. So that's how small the camera is. Ooh. Um. Just yeah. So that's it. There's small is beautiful. Front. It is, and even the even the um the solar panel's quite small. So that's how big the small the solar panel is. So very small, inobtrusive. We didn't want to spook the birds too much with having a lot of kit in the nest. Um. So anyway, the spring came and we ad identified an estate uh, which wasn't particularly keepered and we knew it would be a safe nest to put a camera in and it wouldn't, have, wouldn't be disturbed by anybody walking past. Um, so we then started to monitor the hen harriers, whether we get a nest this year or not. So I spent hours and hours on a hillside watching uh, over this territory um, and luckily got eyes on an actual nest. Um, so then it was a case of waiting for when we thought there would be eggs. Um, and then we went in, well, I went in with the camera um, after she'd laid the eggs and attempted to put that in the nest. So all, all was fine. We were getting a really good picture from inside the nest, um, but the female was not having it. She was not happy at all. So I made the decision, she wouldn't settle back down on the eggs. So I made the decision up on the hill to go back in and quickly take it out and get out of, of there as quickly as I could. But I didn't want the eggs to chill or anything. Um, so I got the camera out really quick and retreated. Then a few days later, put the camera overlooking the nest. Um, so that's fine. And we, we were hoping to get some food pass images and things like that. Um, but then, then the signal went off and we couldn't access the camera remotely at all. So I went, again, went back up again and um, the, all the kit had been trashed, had been trampled on. We think, we, don't, we really, still to this day don't know what, who, what or who did it, but we think it was probably a deer that had maybe got its feet caught around the, the wires and stuff and it had trampled on it. <laughs> there was, it was, all the metal parts were snapped and things, um, not something a hen Harry could have, could have done. Um, and we think if a person had come across it, they would have took the equipment away. So. Yeah, it was very odd. Um, so we had to, to order new parts. Um, and then by the time the new, time the new parts came, we did, we did then put the camera in the nest. The chicks were like half grown. And then we got some really fantastic footage, footage from that point onwards. Um, I'm really glad we persevered with it because I was on, on the verge of giving up because it was, seemed like everything was against the project at that point. Um, but no, we got some really good footage after that. And, and you might have, seen quite a lot of it on on social media um we tried to put out so yeah uh, and i've seen the fled the, they've all fledged since and i've since been up and removed the camera as you've just seen um and that's so it's not that's now in my possession so it was half successful half not but we've learned a lot of lessons to go forward for next year i don't think i'd put the nest that the camera in as early next year or try to put it in as early i'll wait till the chicks have hatched at least um, and also put the solar panel probably a bit further away just so that she's less spooked 
Um, but in the end, it did work really well. And hopefully will next year too. Well, congratulations both on the skill and the perseverance. Um, trampling over um, heathland, especially in the upland areas, uh, carrying expensive kit is not going to make anyone relax. So well done for that. Well, what I'd like to do now is to hand back to David and Lauren to continue this conversation with Andrea and uh, talk perhaps a bit more about details and the future.